So, welcome back to a conversation with a trainer head. You know, we're back. We haven't done an episode in a minute. I got my guy here, Prozac. You get me? We outside. <laughs> He's bro. outside. You said I'm, it, bro. <laughs> I need to come out, bro. I'm here now, yeah, bro. We got him here. <laughs> I've been watching his stuff on Instagram. I've seen he's done a few conversations with other trainer heads. And I thought we might as well get him on here, do our own conversation. And it, vice it. versa, we'll go on his channel. I appreciate it. But yeah, it. but how's your, how's your day going? How's things bro, going? Bro, like, God is good, man. We're here, man. We're, I, I'm appreciative to be here, my G. Yeah. Like, I, can't, I can't say it, man. Been in the culture for a little bit, man, and there's some genuine people of that course. reach out, man, and support. So, yeah, shout out to Trainer Heads for doing yeah, that. Yeah, man, from day that's one, what man. We're, we're trying. We're just trying. We're just trying to literally get the most genuine people on the channel and people it, that we feel that share our sneaker background. So, we was even talking about sneaker background because we was just talking about riffs and yeah, bro. yeah, we were talking about what we used to wear in college. See, my mama and the camera didn't catch me. We were just <laughs> dropping boys, bro. We were dropping so crazy. <laughs> So um, what would I say? Let's start with uh, your humble beginnings with sneakers. So what yeah. got you into sneakers? Um, why is it so much of a passion for you now? Or something that you decided to um, put out there to let people know that you're an actual sneakerhead? I get you, I get you. So yeah, um, firstly, I grew up in an African household. like So sneakers was never like the number one priority. Yeah, so never. <laughs> <laughs> never, like... What I'm saying your books and food, right? So yeah. like you know what I'm saying the the priorities were taken care of. Um me coming to my mum and asking for 70, 80 pound kicks was just never gonna be anything Crazy, real, you, you know? get me? Like you know I'm saying, cause back in them days she, she could slap you and it would be alright, bro. Easily. You, Easily. <laughs> she, you Easily. could tell somebody and nobody would Easily. care, bro. They, even they might slap you. Even on your birthday when you're trying to collect the money from the aunties and that, they were looking at you. <laughs> you're thinking trying to calculate yeah, you're, you're, getting, you're, you're getting taxed. Birthday bro, money so tax, you know. You get birthday money tax, you know, you know them ones. Because that's bro. how I used to try to calculate what trainers I want to get. <laughs> I always get taxed, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> no worries, no, no worries at all. So yeah, man, because I suppose like growing up around certain people that had the kicks or whatever that I didn't have, it became aspirational. Yeah. Like it became sort of a thing that I said to myself, you know, I love these things. These things are real extensions of a personality, but I don't have the opportunity or the funds to get involved now. Mm -hmm. But I just put it in the back of my mind and said, I'm going to get involved when I can. Yeah. You get me, man? I just appreciate it from afar. And that was really what the vibe was. And then when I got to the stage where I could actually work and I could actually earn my own money and I could actually start start picking pieces up, man, I just made it happen, bro. Yeah, that's that's sick. That's even me. I was, I was saying to you earlier, I was saying I started my sneakers journey very late because my parents didn't have money there was quite a few of us growing up and i had cousins that used to stay at my my house my nan used my nan had a child mining um, uh -huh. thing so a lot of my cousins grew up in my house so money was a bit scarce but i think when i started collecting i was probably at college man because i went to john ruskin and i was talking about that shout out to john ruskin, john ruskin bro Them you know the reason why he went to yeah. ruskin because he was outside <laughs> i was outside don't let him lie to you bro all the success <laughs> now it's calm yeah we respect was, you bro. but was, this guy was playing about was, trust me <laughs> even, you know what's mad even 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 that i got distinction distinction yeah how i got that or whatever i don't know how nah, i man. even passed like because nah, i was thing, that's anyway if you know about john ruskin you know your kick game had to be tight because a lot of the man them from Brixton, a lot of man from two in Stockholm, they used to think their shit was, was yeah. fresh, innit? They and I was like, you I was well, the only bro. one that used to oh, you're just a Peckham boy, whatever, boom, boom, boom. And I was like, bro, I'm not even from Peckham, but I'm affiliated from Peckham, but whatever, innit? I'll let, let you give me that title. So you had to always make sure you had nice, Chris Air Force Ones. And them times, I remember I was, I remember when I went there, I was wearing, I had the Bates, you know, the first Bates. Oh, me and my cousin. Chat to me about I, Bates, I had, bro. Listen, uh, we can that's go a, deep yeah, with that yeah, as listen, well, listen, bro. Ready, so I'm ready. I had Bapesters, yeah? So the Bapester, um, I had the Bapester, the ones with the um, the bubble, Bapester Roadsters. Roadsters, yeah. I had yeah, the Roadsters. Had those, yeah. And then I had the Bapester Marvel Collection. So mem a lot oh, of people didn't bro. know, oh, Bape had a, had a Marvel collection. Oh, this I had the Wolverines. Shy. My cousin had my cousin had the Hulks. I need to find a picture of them. My cousin Jess, Bro, he had the Hulks. I had the Wolverines. And my friend Nate, he had the Superman. They did a Marvel yeah. one. They, they did a DC and, and they did a the Marvel DC collection. Well, yeah, he had the Superman ones. They were blue. They were yellow and they were outside, red. bro. They, they were outside. Do they had everyone. serious collaboration. They did collab with everybody, serious bro. So yeah, yeah, I remember when yeah. I first rocked them to, to to college. People were like, "What are those? What are those? They're not red Nike." I said, "Bro, you need to do your research." You and then when they saw Pharrell, Pharrell for real, for real was red, and like, "Oh, you got the babes, this. I was like, "Oh, he didn't know." They thought they were fake Nikes, uh, but I was like, "No, I was clued on because I saw them in a Pharrell video." 
I can't remember. I think it was was it Barking? I can't remember. Um, I don't know which one it was, but it was when he was doing yeah. Neptunes and yeah, I saw yeah, him yeah. wearing. They, them man were heavy in yeah, paper at that time. Because just them after I got the babes, I got a pair of ice creams. Oh, yes. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people forget that the Bape store was in Carnaby Street. Bro, <laughs> kids, those bro. are the times that I used bro. to trek. Bro, I was because I used to work on Regent Street. Oh, is I it? used to work in. Um, shout out to Horse and Pets. She was working a suit shop in, in Regent Street. Oh, bro. Bro, every and it was literally two minutes yeah, from yeah, the yeah. Bape store. But yeah. the thing is, it was the Bape store, yeah. then a Greg's, that's and, it. Then, and then the hideout yeah, where yeah, they had yeah, all the yeah. BBC yeah, stuff Yeah, they had all well, the, yeah, bro. that's it. So that's yeah, it. man, you're talking yeah. to because me. Because I, I used to work in Hanover Square, so just oh, yeah, by yeah. the Apple store. This is so it. My, when I used to get my money, I used to, that that was that few years later on, I would go there and see if I'd buy, because I had a, um, a, what's it called? You know the uh, Bape j- um, jumper, the one that zips up, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I had and, that, but I, but they kind of copied that from CP because I had a CP. Yeah, they, okay, I, I had a CP no, jacket right, you know, in, in secondary right. school. A CP jacket that used to go all the way up, and then um, CP had the goggles, and you could take the goggles out. Me and my brother used to have it. Used to call it the goggle goggle um, um, hoodie. So yeah. So I remember they, they have got a little bit of previous when it comes to, to touching people. Yeah, 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 they plagiarize it. <laughs> they do plagiarize. They touch some people's yeah, stuff. Yeah, they, they but they try and be light. Yeah. <laughs> even now, even this little lawsuit with Nike is kind of. I don't know, man. It's fair enough. Yeah, it's fair enough. Because they've been doing that for a minute. Yeah, but it's because I think it's because everyone's dry snitching, and you lot know you're dry snitching. <laughs> because you're like, ah, oh, how come so and so's babes getting away with it? He is. Allow it, man. Let them do their <laughs> thing. Yeah, they're they're right. like, they've been doing <laughs> their thing. No, the thing the is, yeah, with the bait thing, yeah, right, what you got to realise, yeah, is like, the way it started was genuine, bro. Yes. The way it started was genuine. The yeah. thing about the thing about the Japanese culture, yeah, is that they are a culture of appreciation. Yes. When they like something, they, like they something. love they it, love bro. It. The passion they love is it. so deep. So you know that the Air Force One slash Bape One that mm-hmm. came out, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's a legit shoe, bro. It is a legit shoe. It's a legit shoe. It's like, legit I had the white on whites. Oh, bait. is it? I had the I, white on whites, bro. I was always... I'm me, see, yeah. I'm, I'm a black... I'm, do you know what? It's funny. People say, I'm a black Air Force guy. Bro, yeah. I was, I, guy, bro. I used to... <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what it is? I know that it's not even that because I'm a Joe Ruskin, but black Air Force is... The reason why I like black Air Force because black Air Force is last for time. It's true. I used to, it's and true. black Air Force... Remember, black Air Force used to be like 40 pounds, if I remember. Yeah, they were 40 Oh, pounds, so I used to buy two pairs of Air Forces, yeah. 80 pounds. That's one pair well, of Air Force now. So I used to now. buy two pairs of... So what I used to do, me and my cousin, every, before end of the day, we used to always buy two pairs of whites, two pairs of blacks. The blacks will run through them. That's throughout where where one for the one half of the year, the other black for the other half of the year, uh-huh. and then for them they, they'll go back to Sierra Leone or whatever. Yeah, it's just because pack. blacks they don't get dirty and they're easy to clean. Yeah, get a little black shoe, yeah, bro. No, the no. amount of the amount, I didn't even know there was white shoe polish until I had to go to a polish shoe. Oh, the white man, shoe polish man, is a game changer, bro. <laughs> when you go, bro, when you go to festivals, you see these these rap young kids they've got polished white air forces they're dirty up there like, okay, I'm just saying keeping well, them bruv like why are you not polishing bruh, up your team but I, I, I suppose I, I, you're gonna go to a festival it make, no, it makes me cringe when I see dirty white air forces I, oh, can't, that's I, terrible. I can't do it it's I can't terrible. do it I can't, I can't, it's I can't. terrible that's why I've, I think I've just stopped buying the only white air forces I actually really wanted the recent time was the um, certified lover boy ones, the Drake, the Drake ones. ones. Yeah. But it's because of not, it's because of it's Drake and I and I thought, mm, it's a bit fanboy if I buy them but that's the thing like I think like we can touch a little bit on on Drake because I feel like um I feel like his his Nocta slash like night journey has been a little bit iffy. If bro, I'm being honest. Let me put it on camera. Drake, <laughs> they're ass. <laughs> bro, bro, they suck. Like, real talk. They're dead, fam. Terror steppers, bruv. There's no Terror bro, bro. steppers, bruv. Drake, I can't oh, lie, bro. you're my guy, but those shoes are not it. Bro, nah, they are bro. not it. Like nah. You've got Travis Scott making you look like a strong boy. Okay, so this is my thing here, right? Because I came into the game, like, fully into the game, but I came into the game with... Yeezys, bro. Yeah. Right. So Yeezys big up, big up, Kanye, man. Yeah, no, because I, I know, you, I know you said some mad stuff, but bro, but you you're still thing. my guy. <laughs> okay, you, will, you will always be my you're guy, still my guy. But the thing is, what you can't ever take away from Kanye, even though Kanye done some mad stuff, and we have to understand yeah, yeah, yeah. and appreciate that, right? What you can never take away from him is he was an originator, hundred percent, and he was like a founding father. Hundred percent. No Virgil Abloh without Kanye. Hundred percent. No Jerry Lorenzo without Kanye. No Pharrell. No Travis Scott. No Pharrell. No Pharrell. Right? Definitely yeah. no Drake. Bro, no Drake. in this shoe game, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, give me flowers, man. A lot of man, a lot of man, a lot of man, what 
I'm saying the, the, the thing was opened up for you. Give yeah, him right? his flowers. So when there's a when there's a blueprint, mm. right? Especially when someone like Travis has blown the thing wide open. Yeah, you know, yeah, right? yeah. Follow the blueprint, bro. Pick a good silhouette, right? And do your thing. He but had this, ter- I, not this terrorist step. I thought <laughs> if Drake had done like like he did, it might have been an easy route for him. If he had done like a a, a TN. Or, oh, Ma- or, 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 or even like because Skepta's done an, um, I think he done an Air Max 98. So I think Skepta did it in 98, or I'm not sure. I think he, he did, did a 97. 97, that's it. He did a 97. Great 97, because, 97 yeah. as well. Drake could have done a 97. Oh, that would have been. And great, that would have been fire. That would have been. If so he had fun. done like because bro, he's done. I even saw like a sample. I don't even know if they're out yet. I love Stone Island. I'm uh-huh, a Stone yeah. Island CP guy. But um, he uh, he had a he had a Jordan 13 or the Jordan 12, Stone Island OVO black yeah they look so cold i was like why are you not bringing out these see these trailers? are the things that is why are you that not is bringing out these? legit drape bro why, why? but you know he loves these yeah. little weird connections why? or bro. a nocta why or a nocta a nocta stone island yeah he needs to do like a nocta stone island collaboration something like because um moncler's now acquired stone island really? yeah they've now acquired it so now they've um i even seen rumors i've seen that they're gonna stop doing the jumpers oh, stone wow. island jumpers are gonna stop doing the um the overshirts so it's one of those things like um one second <laughs> technicals technicals <laughs> are you all right there yeah okay cool yeah so i was just saying now that Montclair's now got stone island jake, jake should do something yeah. uh, something sick with stone because he's done some stone yeah. like, he can really do like a jordan stone island nike collab or a nike stone island collab and Nike's done Stone Island's together, done right? some real good collaborations with Adidas because mm-hmm. I, I, I I remember there was some Stone Island Adidas um, trainers that I wanted I still ain't got them to this day I got the Stone Island um, Adidas um, what's it called uh, they were like foam posits oh, you never seen them once no 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 they're no. like this one sh- oh I forgot what the shoe's called the sort of silhouette is called man they were like um, it had like a strap um, cooks knows what I'm talking about because when I bought them, they cooked me for them. They absolutely <laughs> roasted me. My brother's roasted me. What are they choose? What are they shoes? I said, bro, you don't even know. You don't even part. You know, you're, I'm ahead of the time. They were like, and they would come out in the summer. They were like, they were Nikes and they had like a strap. When I, when I, what I'll do is I'll find a picture and I'll post, I'll put it yeah, up I'm on, 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 on the edit. <laughs> and they were Stone Island and they were cold. I believe you though. Bro, yeah. Because the, the, the thing is, um, when it comes to like, um, like, CP, oh, when it yeah. comes to like CP, uh, Stone Island, um, their connection with brands like Adidas, mm. right, is really, really genuine. Like, it's a real clean connection, right? Yeah, and they do have really good collaborations, man. So, yeah. like, I can believe that that'll be a good collaboration. It'd be a good, it'll, I think it'd be a, I think that'll be a better collaboration than this, this nonsense that is. Bruv, he's done a, the one that he, the one that he brought out was a, I don't know what's going on. Nike's doing like some, um, Nigeria appreciation all of a sudden. I don't know. Since this Super Eagles thing, they've been pretty much up Nigeria's ass. So because you, the the freaking the latest Jordans are, are are called something of Niger or something like that. Really? Yeah, the Jordan ones. The Jordan ones that dropped on the sneakers app right now. They're called Vibrations of Niger. Oh snap! And the Noctas, the the press shoots, all the photos were in Nigeria. He said the colorway the colorway is based on Nigerian street culture. Okay. Street. My Stuff man's done like a 23 that. and me and, that, and he's just found Bro, out. Bro, he like, just sat down with whiskey just... and just decided to just <laughs> put something out. I, was like, saying, like, I hear it, but I don't hear it. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's not like, why has everything got to be white? I'm not being funny. Like Nigeria and snakeskin has nothing to do with it. Oh, bro. Like, this is, this whole thing. The thing is, yeah. what are you trying to say? Them on a snake or something? <laughs> I don't get. It. Like, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm like, a... I love that man. <laughs> that man can have snake, yeah. bro. They can do that thing, bro. Yeah. No, no, but the truth is, yeah, right. Drake, I feel like has the opportunity to do some really genuine collabs, and I think that was the thing that made um, Travis work. Yeah, um, early doors. Like I think, obviously, things have tailed off a little bit now. But early yeah, that doors, whole disaster with Travis kind of yeah, like, setting back. Right. But setting they back. were like with the SB, with the skating, and with, and with the Jordan, with the basketball team. Like these genuine collabs. Like and if, and then you can really put your 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 spin on it. Mm-hmm. You can really make it your own. I feel like it's just sort of like it's just sort of bubbling the flow on on certain bits. And there are some things like you were talking about that can 
really represent him. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. There's so but much things Drake can play in that way, like so. So like, much. I'm, I'm definitely hoping for more from him. Mm-hmm. Like I've never seen like them, 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 love, them certified lover boy one um, Air Force ones. They're calm, but they're, they're calm. White and white, I liked bro. it. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, there it's, was it's a little, timeless. Subtle, yeah, there because was you had the beads that say, you know, I love you. It's nice. It's nice. These are the things I like, bro. But that's so subtle, and that could get lost. In the mix, hundred percent. So much of a random it, stuff. Yes, and yeah. it, it'll get. It, I just, I just don't get it. I don't get why he chose that shoot. Hmm. I, I wish, I, if this um, thing that we're doing gives us, gives us an opportunity to sit down with Drake, I'm gonna really ask him, like, bro, why did you choose this shoot? Bro, yeah. Like, why? Whoever gets there first is the yeah. ask. Yeah. I just, I'm like, why, why did, you, why did you choose this shoot? Like, what, 100%. What's the, the reason? Terrorist, bro. bro. The I know, we, I know, we're in a dad shoot era, but bro, like. There's some shoes you should just allow it. Ah, oh, bro, that's a terrible like, shoe. Like, you should just allow it. And the I, and there's no one in the sneaker industry right now that can convince me that those shoes are nice. Bro, no, no. I had, um, shout out to Shea Prey. I had Shea yeah. Prey on the, on the podcast. And she's like, I've got every color. And I'm like, you're crazy. In the terrace of Yeah, bro. She's like, I ride that's out hi- in the terrace That's hot, beast. Bro, I'm saying these that's shoes are clap, bro. Listen, I said, that's Prey. I yeah, say no, cray. No, 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 no. You're cray cray. That's 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 <laughs> That's hype I can't lie. That's that's doing too much. No, every color. Every color. When she says she got every color, and I'm and she says I'm getting more. She said what? anyone that's coming, I'm getting it. I said you have lost it, bro. Get you it. have lost it. What? I, I, I almost ended the podcast right there and then out of protest. Mm. But obviously, content in it. Do you know what? Yeah, it's mad. Do you know? I can, do you know the only ones? Uh, the only one of them terror steppers that I seen that were all right, and I thought mm, maybe because they were sitting is the black ones. Yes, yeah, the black and gold. Ones. So the black and gold is kind of because, because it's black. Right? Yes, because but it's black. Still, like because I, I always go back to buy. <laughs> I always buy black <laughs> traders. I don't know why. I just I'm fascinated. I'm, I'm just used to black traders, isn't it? Like every time Air Max Nine Five's bought them black Air Max Nine. Everything trainers that I've used to buy when I used to start my collection was black. I just like black. Black can go with anything. So mm. those with a hint of something. Now I wear color. I'm me. Even I'm even wearing these like these New Balances. Oh, like, super everyone hard, everyone says I'm crazy. They're like, very hard. Yeah, I just very, I like color. Hard. I've become a color person to buy trainers. No, but you're letting your shoes sing, bro. The thing is, mm. like even even your vibe, like that's kind of like as you get older, you start, you start finding your lane or whatever. I could have come here in this. Yeah, bro, this is me, bro. Yeah, I could have been wearing this. Bro, yeah, right? yeah. I'm saying the navy, navy. I'm saying with the sh- with the shoe that's just a pop. That's it. Color. I just, I, I, just that's it. I like neutral, neutral, and let then a pop. I let my shoe sink. Let my shoe sink. This is it, man. Because yeah. when you when you're a trainer head, sneaker head, whatever you want to call yourself, bro. Yeah. The thing is, that the emphasis is always on the kicks. Always. The is always on the kicks. That's and that's how you got known in the end. Your trainers. The emphasis is always on the kicks. Yeah. So like, you might just see me blacked out, bro. Exactly. My shoe is sick. Serious. Serious. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And, and and that's how I, I, I see it. So I don't know, man. Drizzy, bro, we need to we need to do like Let's a, have a chat, bro. We need a fire panel. <laughs> and we need to resurface everything again because you got a bad boy Nike doing. and you're just doing your mess up, man. You mess up. <laughs> that shoe mess up. Because I was like, what? Who's in their right mind is gonna wear a snake a snake shoe? So, Me in my culture. If I go back uh, to Sierra Leone, wear a snake shoe, they will sit. I'll get run out. <laughs> I get run out. They'll be like, "What's I going on? Who did that, you, what snake did you kill? What, which OJ <laughs> man did you go to?" Yeah, bro. What OJ man are you going to? Cause, bruh, that's a bit mad still. Did you, did you, did you spruce yeah, you collect bro. That? <laughs> nah, I don't need that. No, yeah, sorry. Stressed, but yeah, so um, that's uh, talking on your jet. So, um, what? So, how long have you been doing the stuff? on Instagram and what made you st- want to do conversations and talk to people oh yeah so um, uh, Kits Chronicles basically my podcast and, mm-hmm. um, I looked at the culture I looked at the scene and I said because I, when I started doing content I started doing like sneaker reviews like a lot of people yeah, yeah 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 reviews. it's hard isn't it right and sneaker <laughs> reviews are hard and the thing yeah. is obviously people can appreciate the idea of like I'm not connected in the industry, so I'm actually going out to try and get exactly yeah. to try to get kicks in, getting in ahead of time. There's certain people out there that have the budget; they're going to go, they're getting in three or four weeks ahead. Oh, so they, we're gonna so, elaborate on that. So, yeah. saying that. so they soaked up all the views by yeah, the time you yeah. get your ticket, even yeah. if you get it at uh, EA, it, even if you it, get it, it early, matter. it don't matter it because matter. by the time you put your thing out, you're just struggling or whatever. Yeah. So, but I said to myself, you know what? What I need to do is lean into me, bro. I need to find my lane. Mm-hmm. You get me, like. Um, truth of the matter is, yeah, I used to be a journalist. Okay. 
Yeah, I used to be a journalist, and one of the areas in journalism that I love the most um, is just hearing people's stories and understanding yeah, yeah, their, yeah. Their, 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 their background and just giving them an opportunity to just put themselves out there, right? Yeah. Um, so I just said to myself, you know what? There's a lot of people out here doing reviews. And there's, like, there's even a few podcasts out here, but there's not really anybody that's trying to just understand that journey, that yeah. love, that sneaker journey. That yeah, sneaker yeah, yeah, yeah. Journey. So I said to myself, you know what? This is what we're going to be. This mm. is what I'm going to be. I want to be that guy that can talk to anybody. So if you're killing it in sneaker reviews, if you're killing it out here and you're doing amazing things in the game, bro, I want to have that chat with you because yeah. hopefully it comes from a genuine place and I want to yeah. just have that conversation with you. So yeah, um, out of those conversations, I've had some real like great opportunities talking to like people like J2K um, yeah. my man from uh, uh, Soul Supplier Big George Sullivan yeah George, George, was, like, George was on the we had George on our channel before bro, I don't think George had an interview before bro. he came on our channel the, the and he's such amazing. a nice guy oh, so, George is a nice guy amazing King like, of Chambers yeah, as King well of Ch- yeah, Franklin that's our guy Barton, yeah like, Kish like, Cash is my yeah 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 I'm trying to get him bro get Kish Cash hey Kish get on his channel get on his do my Bro, now I'm yeah. the bro. Get on this team, get on this team, get on this team. Kish Cash, hey, we had Kish Cash. Kish Cash, he's so knowledgeable, you know. Bro, he's like... You he's see like, that he's, he's, he's building his archive? Oh, no, but I've heard of... But, bro, he is the archive, bro. bro. He's the collector. He's, you know from yeah. Marvel team, bro. Yeah, he's the collector. He's the collector, he's, bro. He is literally the collector he's from the Marvel. Collector he's the collector, from Marvel, bro. Like, he's so a collector. You see people like that and you're just like... You're welcomed in, bro. And when I started leaning into that, bro, I started seeing doors open. Yeah. And I started realizing, you know, this is really where I need to be. This is really what my lane is, bro. And it's just, it just speaks to me, bro. So yeah, um, even on the podcast, I might throw in a cheeky um, review once in a while. Mm-hmm. But the focus is always going to be about the on people. The, the people, it's yeah. It's going to be about their sneaker journey and, yeah. and and the, and the love that we all have for kicks, bro. Yeah, that's good, man. Even this, we start. I literally started because one time I was just like. I was watching like when you're saying that a lot of people they go on these things that like go and all these things and buy it's mostly in america i was thinking there was no one really from the uk other than i saw i think soul supply was doing this stuff mm. but the style of the way we was doing reviews well, there's no one really doing it like us so mm. i just thought i'm just gonna give it a go i didn't at first i didn't want to be in front of camera because my background has always been behind camera mm. so i just thought hey, let me give myself the courage let me just get in front and from then on i've just i've loved it and then we got re on board and it's just been it's been good like just me re cooks martin we just been shout out doing it team. yeah shout can out i just say team. something just mm. real quick man obviously we're here we're on we're on like trainer his channel and that but like i don't know i don't know i don't know my man here right i don't mm. know cooks right i don't know these guys from before i started mm. like social media these man have reposted my stuff these man reached out to me they've encouraged me like I want to tell you, like, big up yourself, innit? Thank bro? you, brother. I, repeat, I appreciate it. Yeah, on, like, no, on a real G. No, no, no. Bro, because the <laughs> real recognize real. Okay, you don't, don't have to do that, bro. A lot of people didn't do that, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. And there are there are people that are very close to me in the industry, bro, that have reached out to me, like, and not on anything. Because they did, cause there's nothing I can give you, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah. like, you're already in a better spot than I am, but I'm trying to get to where you are, right? Yeah. And people reached out to me, like, on that level, and it just, I, I just appreciate it, bro. No, no, and you're no. you're definitely one of them, man. Like, you yeah. repost my things, bro. Like, I'm saying, like, It, it bro, don't cost to repost you. Nah, bro. It I don't cost. It, bro. It but don't the thing cost. is, sometimes it act like it do, bro. bro no. <laughs> I'm just being real. This is why, but, I like, can't lie. But for me, yeah, right? <laughs> Nobody owes me nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Nobody yeah, yeah. owes 100%, me nothing, bro. Yeah, yeah. If somebody does something for me, man, the appreciation... The, sorry, the appreciation... Nation, yeah. Like thousand. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I just take it, bro. I don't expect nothing from nobody, especially in the game where I didn't know nobody. Yeah, exactly, bro. I yeah. I have no inside, you get me? Yeah. So, um, I just appreciate you. I appreciate training. No, heads, thank brother. you. No, 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 thank you. Bro, no, we, we've, th- this is the thing is, we've just really wanted to just talk to as many trainer head people, trainer lovers, because... That's why our channel's called Trainer Heads, because when I was growing up, this whole sneaker, sneaker, sneaker stuff. <laughs> I don't know that. That only came into my vocab once I started listening to America's our sneakers. But I'm a trainer guy, like, like trainers. Trainer, yeah, it's trainers. Talk, yeah. You got trainers or creps or, creps, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Crep or trainer. That's what I know. So, yeah, we just wanted all these people, and it's been hard. It's been hard. This have been doing it for long. It's hard. It's getting people, and that's why we've got this space, and lucky enough to have it. But um, yeah, we're just just 
trying to grow and just get more people and the more things we do we just start bringing more people that have got on it because I respect we, are, we appreciate everyone that comes on this channel everyone and just like I just like I like good stuff if I like it I'm going to repost it I'm not going to pretend I'm not going to be like oh that's why I, this is that's why I was having a little we had a shadow cap we had a cabinet meeting but most of us like oh we have to go out I was like I hate going out yeah, can't I lie you, I can't I stand it outside, I've been going out I've, I've been really going out for a long time been out I've been outside yeah so now that I'm at age now where I go out now I'm just I just because one I know what people are on two it's never anyone there that I can really talk to yeah. and three it's it's all it's all scripted everything yeah. all these events are scripted it's WWE it's very, WWE yeah it's very WWE it's very <laughs> like, it's deeper, like yeah it's, it's very man very very scripted but we're gonna try and go more we're gonna try and go more to these sneaker events we're gonna try and i'm trying to go more up north bro i hate because the thing is obviously before i came here i was listening to some of your things as well like mm. and i heard you mention that bro and i've had the exact same sentiment going bro. up north man like, and that's one of the key things for me about this whole journey bro mm. like when you're in London, it's so insular. It's so yeah, like yeah. It's, it's his own world. It's, it's like. very incestuous. Bro, it's, bro, bro, that's the word, bro. That's it. It's like like very everything's on top everyone, of yeah, everything. Everyone's, everyone's yeah, here, like everyone, yeah, and yeah, I'm like, very bro, incestuous. you could just stay in London and just yeah. be in this culture, bro. But there's so much yeah. going on outside, bro. Shout out to um, who are these men now? Doubled, doubled, up, doubled up podcast. Doubled up podcast, Bruv, bro. They're my guys. They're my, they're my guys, man. Go they're my, and I'm like, you they're know, my guys. inspired me, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm a, uh, I recently linked up with uh, with a brand that's based um, up north in England, bro. And I'm oh, okay. Like, yeah, um, shout out to Sneak Supply. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to be doing some stuff and it's going to be coming out soon as well. Like, But, like, I met them at Crep City. Is it? I met them at Crep City. And that was one of the first festivals that I've been to. I met them there. I interviewed the 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 the, um, the CEO, Alex Mullins, man. Shout him out as well. Big guy. Yeah. I love him. Right? And he was like, bro, like, when we're doing... Um, it's hard. When we're doing stuff, please come out, bro. And yeah, yeah no, no, no I'm trying to go. And I'm like, bro, I'm coming out, man. I'm 100%. Out, man. 100%. So, yeah, I, nah, I'm, I'm, de- I'm out, going out. Bro. I'm reaching out to people up north. 100%. There's, there's a bigger sneaker mark like community then just like and it's so genuine bro that man up like it's a different thing it's so different so different thing up there it's so different even when you go to bristol even bristol even when you go to like like there's few places trying to go manchester liverpool birmingham like like different parts that i'm even trying to go to towns yeah bro because it's towns that have a sneaker culture like in Yorkshire, all these little places, like all, I'm trying to go. We're trying to, we're I trying to go it. there, man, because we want to dominate the UK. We want to talk to people in the UK. It's not about getting our favorite American from California that has. Yeah, we understand that they love sneakers, but they don't understand why we love, why we certain man wear certain things. You understand that? So, yeah, we're gonna try to do more of those things. So, I respect it, man. It's definitely a vibe. So, what do you? So, going to still going on in the community what do you think of the community since you've been a part of it um i have to be honest like there are pluses and minuses definitely Mm. um for the most part in my journey it's been a real positive journey yeah there's been a real positive journey but the thing is i lead with positivity positivity i'm not a negative guy so by god's grace a lot of positivity comes back amen bro amen amen trust me like but like in that being said, like you do notice certain things, yeah. you just see certain things, and you just be like, you know what? Um, whether what I try to do is I try to give people the benefit, benefit of the doubt. doubt. Yes, yeah. and that's been getting me into trouble, bro. you know. No, but the thing is, you have to do it, bro. Because if you don't, it's been yeah, getting me into trouble, if you don't, bro. Like what it can end up being, yeah, is that you then take offense, yeah, and then it can be a mess. Yes, right. Yes. What I'm trying to do is save my blood pressure. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Keep myself hundred percent. Like, so I just say, you know what? Maybe it's an off day for you today. Maybe, yeah. Maybe something happened at home. Yeah. Like, I'm saying we don't yeah. need to get into it, bro. I'm gonna just keep it moving, bro. But just know, yeah. The energy comes like that again. This might be a different. Story. Didn't I say that the other day? <laughs> I said I said this to Cooks the other day. I said this to Cook the other day. I've seen me. I'm giving people benefit of the doubt. Benefit oh, of the doubt. If I, I'm just giving you the benefit of the doubt, but ne- that energy comes to me again. Just say it. I promise you. Just say don't it. be fooled by Instagram, bro. No, bro. Just Do say not, it. Bro. I, I, I promise you. I don't brand deals or not. I just just 
don't give me that energy. Like, I'll just, I'll just ignore you. Me, I'm a good at ignoring, you know. I'm good at ignoring people. That, I'm, that very good at, good. I'm very good at being in the same place. Me and you can sit right next to each other and I will not chat a word to you. That's hilarious. And you will feel the vibe. Like, that's how I'm on. So, but I've, always, like I said, when we first started, I felt like we didn't get much love. But I think when we started interviewing more people, talking to more people, people have reciprocated to us. We've been doing things. I, I think the, I think it's very positive now. Before I thought the, if I'm being honest, and I see it on camera, I thought this community was toxic. I thought it was so toxic. You know, I thought it was very, that, I thought it was very clicky. I thought mm. it was very, like I said, incestuous. Sounds I thought it was very like, if you're not, yeah, if you're not part of my thing or you're chatting to this person, I don't really want to get you on this thing. And it was very us and them. Mm. But I've just since I've been being myself and just like I don't, I, I really don't care about your politics. I just wanna chat to you chat about your journey it's been positive and i appreciate it and there's been a lot of people i've met on this journey that have been very genuine and i like them but um yeah i just hope more things there's more growth it's like i feel like we're in the early hip-hop stage of this whole trainer thing oh i like that that's I what like I feel that. like. I feel you like we're. Feel like I feel like we're in the eighties, bro. So you think, yeah. it's, you think it's gonna yeah. blow, bro? Yeah, I think it's gonna. I think I give us. I give the UK sneaker scene community. I give it another five years, not even maybe three. Bro, I like because that. Because it's it's. COVID really helped us. Oh, it turbocharged the whole COVID, thing. COVID you know how many really, things came out of COVID? COVID bro? helped I us. We, out of COVID yeah, we way, started bro. this. We started this in 2018, right? Yeah, 2018 we started this. Yeah. yeah. And when we started it, we was it was very young, like was like very very young. So, and then I felt like there was only a few people that was really that was really out there that was kind of like really banging. Like you had Mike's pairs, you had yeah, Shang got yeah, soul, yeah, yeah, you yeah. had King of Trainers. King of Obviously, Trainers. I, yeah. It's funny, like King of Trainers. I've known King of Trainers for years years and even when i told him that i met him years ago he was like raw oh my days that's like, that's i said bro i've known you for collecting trainers even kish cash kish cash and king of trainers those two man they were the guys that i knew that was before pre-instagram pre all this oh look at my sneaker wall of, of all these trainers i bought on resale them man have been doing their thing doing it bro so covid i really really feel that covid kind of i don't think instagram was ready or the the community, like even I don't even think Offspring, Adidas, Nike, um, all these lot were ready for how we were so, like I don't know how we just popped out there, like, ta-da, the like team, COVID yeah. kind of was like, oh shit, this, this person doing it, this person doing it, this, so it's kind of helped. Like um, it's, we're still at the baby steps, I think. Mm. When we start doing more big events, where I feel like we need to do our own events, like it's all good doing these Comic Con stuff and. Um, I mean complex, oh, yeah, not saying yeah. Comic Con. Complex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I like Comic Con. Yeah, not, not like oh, but this, I hear yeah. you know, sneaker con and all um, these sneaker like, con, yeah, com, yeah. Com, yeah, com, complex, complex con, con, all this stuff. Yeah. I feel like we as a collective should have our own. I think sneaker is our own thing. And Crep City right? is our yeah. Crep City, Crep yeah, Crep City and sneaker. I think Crep City Crep City is there, but there's still a bit more growth with Crep City. Mm. But um I feel like we should have more of them. Do you know who I've Crepography I've seen are doing Crepography something. Are fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I definitely need to get yeah. tapped in, bro. Uh, do you know who I want to do uh, a festival? I want Soul Supply to do a festival, bro. Soul Supply should do a festival. I feel like they should have should, they should have been doing they, a festival, they should, bro. But then, even when I, when we spoke to, to, to George, he when he started, he started it because if I quote, quote him right, he just started it because he just loved it, and then he just he fell into it pretty much. He even he, I think he even said he was he wasn't like a Mister yeah, no, yeah, Encyclopedia yeah, he, he for Crips. Well, yeah, he that, he he's not that. an insight, but I think their team's getting stronger. They're yeah. getting more young black people in their team, which I'm seeing, which is good. It's, pers- it's positive. Yeah, positive. It's, it's very diverse now in the in the office because I don't think it was diverse enough before. That's yeah, me being honest. Yeah, so now I feel like it's more diverse. They're getting people that are tapped in. So. We'll see in it. Like if if they do decide to um, do a what's it called a festival, I think I'll, I'll be there. I'll yeah, definitely, be I'll there. definitely be I'll there. I hopefully man. we can cover it and we do our own little segment on there. But yeah, I'll definitely be there. I think that'll be good. That'll be good. So, but yeah, um, it's so talking about the community. It's funny how the community can turn on people, Mister Mister West. Ah, <laughs> like we're saying it, our guy. Kanye, I know he's, he has said some mad shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff I cannot no. stand by, yeah. Nah, nah, because nah, I, like, I it, like it's like, brother, you 
was mad. He was left for that. But mental health is mental health, innit? Bro. And we have to we have to understand that. Please. Mental health is mental health. Mental health. And it, when bro. someone's crying for mental health, I'm not saying I'm not justifying his actions, yeah? That's a first. So do not misquote me. Mental health is mental health. And when someone has mental health, you must must help them because people are suffering in silence mm -hmm. and 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 they're suffering in silence and crying out loud yeah oh, i've never heard that yeah before. that's so that's immense, man i'm really suffering in silence and literally crying out like they're out in public crying ah, blah, 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 blah. Talk, yeah so i just feel like i feel like um it's funny that like, i got i will never not buy a yeezy it will never go past me without me buying it and i bought the yeezy and as i bought the yeezys funny a lot of people that refused to report on mr west and refused to like, like kind of disassociated him, themselves from him but all in the raffles bruv <laughs> let's just keep it all the way all thousand, in bro. the raffles let's just keep it all the way 100 bro right when it comes to these kicks yeah don't anybody try and tell me right what i can and can't wear thank you don't chat to me like that, bro. Thank you. Don't ever do that, bro. Because, yeah, if we really want to go down we that road... We can go road, down the rabbit hole. Bro, if we really want to go I'll down people, that road, we, we can, can go, go there, we can bro, go but it. you will leave your house naked, bro. Because bro, there's nobody you can wear, bro. There's no one. Everybody's got their ting Everyone's gone, been bro. controversial Everyone's at some point. Their ting, Everybody. Bro. But the thing is... Even yeah, Adidas themselves. The, bro... Uh, yeah, that's like, what yeah. is his name, yeah, exactly. bro? Just saying, bro. Exactly. Like, put that to one side. The truth is, yeah, right? When it comes, and I don't want to make it a racial thing. Yeah, yeah no, it's not. It's this. not. Yeah. I'm just going to mention this here, right? You can shout out and say, oh, I don't, uh, well, some people are saying, like, I don't want to wear Yeezys no more because of what you said. Mm. By the way, the guy apologized, yeah, yeah. right? You touched on the mental health thing. He's obviously not all the way there, bro. But when you're on the edge of genius yeah. all the time, bro, sometimes There's you some people over, flicker, yeah. Right? Some of you can tap over, right? But that being said, yeah. The idea that a garment, a trainer, mm. right, is a sole representative of a man's view, yeah, right, yeah. that's stupid. It's nonsensical. Because if you're going to take that approach, yeah, Balenciaga are still going, Hugo Boss is still going, Coco <laughs> Chanel are still going, yep. Adidas are still yep. going, bro. And the list goes on you go and boss. on, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> the list goes on and on, bro. The truth of the matter is, yeah, right, no brand is without stain. No brand, no yeah. brand, no brand. I'm saying that's the reason why they're happier. That's the reason why they're happier. Even BMW, even, 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 even Mercedes Benz. All of them, man. Everyone has there, done something controversial. All out there. VW yeah. was started, it was, I'm going to say it was started in the team. Yeah, 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 yeah. As yeah. a result of the team. Yeah. So all I'm saying here, right, is let's just be grown up about this whole feel, thing, yeah? Hmm. If you like the shoe, wear the shoe. Yeah. If you like the shoe, buy the shoe yeah. and wear the shoe. Yeah. You get me? Don't be caught out by these people trying to virtue signal and make it seem like it's more than it is. No, no they're no, traders, no, no. bro. They're traders. We love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is part of our lives. This is part of our, uh, our passion, right? Yeah. Right? But we will never get to the point where we don't acknowledge the fact that they're kicks. They're, 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 they're trainers. Bro, bro. And, and, it's, and I'm not going to lie. Yeezys are mad comfortable. Bro, they're the, I'm the comfort they're king. Mad. How can I live my I, life I love comfort. It's comfort. comfort. I'm not going to force myself to wear something that's not comfortable. Bro, no, I'm a comfort guy, like, bro. I, until I started wearing New Balance, I got New Balances in 20... New Balances are next level, 20, First pair of New Balances, 2017. No, 20, yeah, 2016, 2017. Yeah, I bought did, my bro. first you pair of you, bro. New my first pair, my my first pair of New Balance. I think my mom even said when I bought them, my mom was like, "Bro, what are you talking about? You had New Balances when you was in secondary school." Really? And, you know, and, and I and I think she, I think I remember because I never bought them. I'm saying the first pair of New Balance I bought with my money was yeah, in 2017. Nah, my mom said she got. I remember. Yes, in fact, she did from America because in America they were very popular, yeah. and I got them. And um, I, I think I got a pair of them, and I think my cousin was like, what's those? And, and I kind of was like, oh, shoot, I'm not rocking them. <laughs> Some fake Nikes. Why, <laughs> why have you got Nikes in the head? Why have you got the Nikes in the end? And I was like, I can't lie, peer pressure kind of got, man. They're like, what's the Nike with the end? What you got Nike with the end? And I was like, 
Bro, what kind of trainers are that from? I was like, oh, I'm here we go. That end was dangerous. I was like, I was like me, I'm, I'm the cussing king. You're not gonna cuss me, bro. Because yeah, I'm gonna, I'm the, I'm the one that cusses, yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, shit. I was like, ah. Oh. So I think I sent them to Sierra Leone or something. I don't know. I never seen them again. But I remember buying them from, um, can't no. I bought them from sneakers and stuff. Oh yeah. They was on like sale. Cause man. sneak, remember sneakers stuff used to do buy one get one free. Really? If you know, you know. Sneakers and stuff used to do every summer, every winter, buy one, get one free. Get one free for kids. Buy one, get one free. They used to do buy one, you get one free. Or it was buy or it was buy some you have to yeah, buy you have to buy it and it's half off. Yeah, it has yeah. to be similar in price. Oh, no, Bro, I, that's that. that's from that's where my kick game grew. Because I was getting to sneakers and stuff and I used to buy um the offspring that I used to go to was the one in Camden. Mm, okay. That one that's was a lit one. one. That one you said I had the I had a special edition 97s or 98s. Um, they were like a city pack. They were like cream and blue. And I think I got those in 2015, 2016. I can't remember. That's when I started buying stuff because I used to buy things on sale. If it wasn't on sale, I wasn't buying it. Even I remember Foot Locker in um, Brixton. Most of my trainers I used to buy, my mum used to buy off the sale rack. Used to buy off, you remember the trainers? Even oh. JDC, they had the tra- oh, yeah. The tra- yeah, it's about off the sale rack. So I remember uh, my dad buying me BWs, but um, what was the point I was trying to make? The point I was trying to make is that I think I've lost track of what I was trying to say because I was talking about the trainers. I'm saying I just don't like that how um, people will pretend that they don't like something but mm. still go out and do it. Yeah, bro. Just be real. Yeah, bro. just be real. Just be real. Just, just be, be real. real. That's that's my 100%. point. Just just literally just be, yourself, just be real about the whole thing. If you like it, buy it. If you like I it, buy it. The um, the world that we're in now, obviously, massive social media, TikTok, Instagram. There's a lot of it's because it's paying the bills for a lot of people. It's, it's true. It's true. There's a lot of people vying for clout. A lot of people vying for influence, right? So when you see that something's trending, you don't want to be outside of the trend. Mm. So certain people are like, like a good example of that is the Adidas Samba. Like it's, a, it's on a lot of timelines right bro. now, bro. Don't get it. Don't, don't, don't actually. Sorry, I get it. No, don't let me. Don't let me say I don't get it because yeah. I like the shoe. Yeah, I actually like the shoe. Millwall people around here, all the me, Millwall me boys, rocking that been shoe rocking for years. That. I've been rocking years. gazelles for yeah. years, right? The thing is, though, obviously, because one, two influencers are rocking it, now everyone's rocking it, bro. If you don't really like I'm the so shoe, so happy you brought that up. You don't <laughs> have to rock the shoe, bro. They were going on sale on ASOS, bro. bro I did that nah, Sambas, shit, bro. bro. I'm saying they like, were on sale, bro. It's the reality of where we are now, where it is like a trend. We, we literally flow from one trend to another trend yeah. to another trend. But you get me, man. But yeah, if I'm saying do your thing, if you if you want to live your life like that, yeah, then it is what it is, man. But for me and my household, bro, <laughs> we do what we like. Yeah, and if you like a thing, then you roll, you, you rock out for that thing, bro. You do your thing, and, and that's it. Have you, so. have you influenced your household on your sneaker collection? Oh, um, so yeah, I got a little girl and my wife as well. So yeah, they're, how they're, how are you with that? Because my missus didn't get it. She doesn't. She still gets. She gets it now, but she was like, I think when she saw my collection, she was like, Oh my god, you got that many trainers? She's yeah, like, my what? wife is still saying that. She's shocked. She's my like, wife, my wife, my wife is literally. <laughs> she's like, you got that many? Like she could shot. Like I was like, when I used to tell her, I was like, I've got a lot of, I've got bare trainers, you know. I've got a closet full of them. Nah, she couldn't believe it. Nah, my wife. Shout out to my wife. She's an amazing woman, man. But like. Even though she knows the whole pattern, yeah, she's still shocked. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's like she if, comes into the office and she's like, "You got war," and yeah. I'm like, "Bruh, just know that we've not paid for any of this." Yeah, bro. actually, <laughs> like the thing is paying for itself. You know, it's, like fully it's all working for our good, man. She, like it's all good. You get me, like, honestly. So that like, she's, but she's amazing, man. Yeah, so definitely she's up now. Like um, even last night she was rocking the the five hundreds, man. Shout out to oh, Easy Day. Oh yeah, the unofficial Easy, easy Day. Yeah, unofficial. Yeah, yeah, the fake Easy Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get rid of the shoes, day. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm saying closing down, so the everything. Down, so everything <laughs> was good. It literally, bro. You know. <laughs> Do you know what's funny here? Yeah? I went and confirmed that yes, this morning, in fact, he said, last chance to get your Yeezys. Oh, right, all right. I was like, what? <laughs> you still ain't sold them. Bro. It was the Beluga Carbons. Yeah, the Beluga they're, they're Carbons not go- And I thought, flat, they're bro. crap. Yeah, they're no one can tell, no one can tell they're me terrible, that those are nice. Nah, they're, they're clapped, bro. They're terrible. 
The belugas, yes. Oh, that beluga bit, carbon, no, nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. You're forcing it. They tried it too. They You're forcing it. it. They tried you it. are forcing it. If you think there's not, I saw um, who put them out there, like Seth Fowler. You know that yeah, man? Yeah. He put them out there. I was like, Seth, Seth. Bro, Seth. This is You're doing this for the algorithm. He's doing it for the algorithm. You're doing this, bro. You don't like them crepes. Bro, there's no way. You're doing it. You're doing it for the. I bought all black ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I bought him standard. Well, this is it, bro. Because I already had a pair of the Onyx, bro. The old black one. He had an Onyx. I already I had I tried them. to get them when they first came out, and I missed out. No, bro. I already had a pair. Because I knew, bro. I saw the vision. You bro. saw the vision, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them, I see them Onyx like a black cat, bro. Yes, they're never they going to go, bro. They're never going to go, bro. They're never going to go. They're never. They're they're never they're they're so, yeah, I will always dip in when it comes yeah, to Yeah, and the they sold out quick, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, they were sold out so quick. I was shocked. Like, do you know what's mad? Because when we're talking about does, how if your missus is involved in the sneaker, even to this now, even to now, when I buy kits, because me and my missus we share our finances, we talk together, and I even it's even funny. Cause I remember even relating to this is that when I was staying, when I was living with my mom, she was like, "Ah, oh, when I said get trainers, and I was starting this training thing, my mom was like, "Oh, you're getting the tra- you're getting the trainers for free? Oh my god, like what to get? I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, they come with trainers." Because I, I was like, "If this woman saw my bank account." <laughs> She be like, what? <laughs> Especially oh, through COVID, I was buying trainers. Oh, I think I was buying dude. trainers every week in it. Cooks here, yeah, but every week I was buying trainers. But anyway, relating to this, even now, me and my missus, when I buy trainers, I sweat. Boy. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I'm like, babe, I'm I'm going in for these these Yeezys. She's like, how much are they? I'm like. Uh, why are you? They're like, two, why they're are these two hundred a pair, bro? Why are they doing that? They used bro? to be oh, one thirty. Bro, why are they? My first pair, pair of now, Yeezys bro. were, I think, one thirty or one ten. Oh, bro, they're doing that. I bought the black bro. ones. The black ones. I got them. Um, there was someone, the guy I used, to, I, I used to talk to. He used to work at Adidas store. Don't we really talk to him now? But he got them for me, and I think I bought. I think I paid one thirty when I bought them off. When I got them off him, I went to his store and I picked them up. But yeah, two hundred pounds. Yeah, so inflation is real, bro, man. And yeah, I mean, I'm not because the thing is with the ones that I picked up, not all of them I was gonna keep. The main one that I wanted to get for me was the pirate blacks because I I completely missed out on the V1 350s, man. So a lot of these that I'm 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 gonna shut them off. But what what Adidas did when they increased the price was just squeeze a lot of the profits. No, yeah, because they're trying to say the whatever they're making from it, they're gonna put it on the this. Um, like anti-Semitism and all that stuff, yeah, which is good. So good. It's good. Each their own. It's good. Yeah, let's hope they do that because I know. I know. I how to, let's hope. I know, I know how. <laughs> listen. I know how the tax man works. I know how, I know how man get their money back. It's true. You understand? It's true, so true. that's uh, absolutely. Yeah, brother. That's absolutely. <laughs> Nobody's fooling me with taxes oh, wow. and finances. You ain't fooling me. Right you ain't fooling me. Yeah, so man, let's let's right awesome, that. let's see. <laughs> Offshore accounts. Okay. <laughs> Did you just see that they released okay, the 65 man. million okay. for oh, Yeezy? Oh, yeah. Because they're trying to hold it. Yeah, and they said it's, it's, it's unlawful. They can't yeah, do that. So, to. yeah. So, they're trying to recoup their piece. So, let's see how that all makes it free. Because the, the reason why they even done this release is because their shareholders were, put, was, were suing them. They were about to take them to court, about right? About to take them to court. They, they to said to they knew court. what they was getting into. They knew the kind of person. They were warned in board meetings. And, yeah. So... But anyway, look, I'm not putting a stain on Adidas. I would love to work with you guys. Obviously. I think you lot yeah. are a nice, br- a great brand. You lot done so much for hip hop. But let's let's hope you don't make the same mistake yeah. again. Yeah. Like, if whatever you collaboration you're going to make now, please yeah. be. I think the next person you lot should go to is Debra. Right. That's a great shout. That's a great. I even asked someone a question recently, and I was saying, like, if if Adidas are no longer gonna be working with Kanye, who is gonna be that next guy? Mm. Who is gonna be the next? Salehi Bembry. Right. Salehi Bembry is a Salehi, great shout. Yeah. The only reason, um, I think for me, Salehi Bembry occupies a different lane because he's an actual designer. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the 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 lane that Kanye occupies is unique because. Right, whether you believe he's a designer or not, he's mm. been at the helm of some amazing designs. Big design, right? big designs. But also, like you've got the fact that he's 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 like a he's like a triple threat, bro. He's, mm. like, he's like the music, the clothes, and, and the kicks, right? So it's like, is there somebody that could fit that mold? You get me? Like obviously at night, it's probably Travis that they're looking at, and Travis is doing amazing things. Is there somebody on the come up? Whether it be in music, film, TV, right? Mm. 
or just I don't know wherever that could fit in that mold that's that talented that could potentially do what well, Kanye did. Well, I saw what they tried to do. You look, you see the um, Jim Jones, the Harlem yeah, collaborate. Yeah, I saw what they're trying to do. They're trying to tap back into the culture, and I see it. That Jim Jones thing kind of won me over. Is it nice? It's a nice shoe. And Jim I think they're from. I think they're a forum. I think. Or, it, it, uh, it's uh, not a or, forum. It's called it? the Harlem. Okay, the shoe okay. is called the Harlem. It's an old basketball silhouette. Okay, I, I don't know. Silhouette. I'm not going to pretend on camera. I do not know that. But it's an SNS collab. Oh, is That's it? So SNS, like SNS and Adidas collab. So ah. SNS went through, they literally went through the archives and it was like, what's this? I do not know that yeah, shoe. I mean, I, I've that never up. seen that shoe ever. Yeah. No, it's not been out for years, bro. Oh, okay, yeah. Years, I, I would never see it and be like, yeah, I used to have those shoes, man. No, I didn't. Didn't have those shoes. No, I never. Like that, I, 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 I wasn't even outside when them shoes were out. No, 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 no. We, we were inside. <laughs> I was literally. inside. I was literally inside. <laughs> we were literally inside. I was inside. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. So when I saw it, I was like, I thought there was a forum or something. No, but they got that look, bro, because I think yeah. they've got elements of forum, elements of like, um, just like uh, the low low profile basketball picks that. Uh, so they've got elements of that, but okay. it's slightly different, right? It's okay. slightly different. But yeah, that shoe's all right. You that reckon? All right. It's okay. The thing is, yeah. When it comes to Adidas, yeah, with it, the forum, low forum, high, I don't know to do the Bad Bunny thing. Yeah. Right. Bad Bunny shoes are terrible. Right. It's not for me. Yeah, it's not for me. It's not for me. Right. Yeah. It's not for me. The most it could ever be yeah. is a resale. Da- da- right. the, the boys from Double Up tried to convince me about that. Nah, it's not a real thing. It's not a real thing, bro. And shout out to them, man. Yeah. But yeah. Like, it's, it's, not not for me. it's not for me. The thing that Adidas does that I respect, yeah, because I don't really vibe with their basketball thing. I vibe with their football thing. Bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, if, if you're going to, yeah. if you want to go anywhere, Focus on that. Yeah, yeah, football. Focus on yeah. your gazelles, your sambas. Focus yeah. on your football. Yeah, they're terrace, bro. terrace That's the shoes. Yeah. Terrace shoes, bro. Yeah, That's terrace the core, shoes. Bro. That's the core. That's the core. Like, do you more coll- bro? The, but they have. Just, they've got good collabs with size. Well, they do good yeah, collabs. Yeah, size, yeah, size. They do really good yeah. collabs. Bro, the one that I loved, yeah, even though I didn't dip in, bro, the Gucci collab on the. On the oh, Gazelle, I miss, bro. Yes, the Gucci. Do you know what? My missus kind of said I'm um, tacky. I know. But I she know. does fashion, so but she no, knows. No, I get it. I so get she, it. she was bro, on to me. She's like, that's so tacky. And bro, I was like, that spoke to and me. And I was like, oh, I, was I like, looked mm. at that kick and I was like, bro, because I had a pair of Gucci traders when I wear yeah. SFX back in the okay, day, bro. Okay, okay. You get you, me like, you was really, <laughs> you're the was, man they had money. Nah, <laughs> Bro, so in SFX, yeah, that was like, Yo, that was like, that was your only education. SFX? Yeah, you was the man. <laughs> that was your only education, bro. You was Because you weren't learning man. nothing, bro. If you weren't rocking out, bro, you weren't doing nothing, bro. Hey, we, we, we was trying to chat to the guys that like, you. <laughs> what? You <laughs> nah, Someone put me on, yeah. First of all, I got put onto America's um, with the with the Pradas, yeah. Yeah. And then from there, I started, do you know what? Everyone's rocking Pradas. Let yeah, me, American let me Cups. They, they, yeah. They, they, they was, let me branch everyone out. Everyone had them. So I did the Gucci straps and then I started the Gucci trainers, hmm. right? And like that, that obviously that print on the trainer is like iconic, bro. So hmm. like when I saw it on the gazelle, I was like, that's beautiful. It's not. I think it's I think it's got an accent of pink on it. Or, yeah, or like, it's like green. Orange or something. Yeah, yeah, oranges, yeah. yeah. I the different colour with yeah, 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 yeah. Vibes, bro. Yeah, they're vibes, nice, bro. they're nice. But like these are the things that I'm like, oh, these are really cool. Like if you lean into those and now the price point's crazy, mm-hmm. but if you lean into those um, silhouettes. I, I can definitely get behind Do you rate there. fashion house collaborations? Do you know what? Yeah, it's not. It doesn't speak to me as much. Because Balenciaga now. and Adidas, that oh, was. Come on, bro. Balenci- that was atrocious. Dead, like, nah, that was crazy, bro. I they don't know selling, anyone. I don't know selling, anyone that liked it. Bro, they were selling towels for 400, bro. What? Towels. With Balenciaga on it. Balenciaga. Towels. And Adidas on it. Adidas and Balenciaga. Yeah, they're mad. Towels for 400. Even, that, even that, um, that, that Balenciaga shoe, I think they're dead. See, this is the thing. I'm a size nine, so. And I, I'm I'm not the tallest of people. I'm like just under six foot. I'm five and eight. So yeah. that just looks. That I look crazy. Is, yeah. Some yeah. bulky it's shoes. Or, yeah. But the thing is, some people really vibe with it. Like I think some people are on the edge of like, like fashion, and like I'm more, I'm more streetwear and sport as opposed to fashion. You get me? Like, but the, don't get me wrong though. I can appreciate certain pieces. Right, but then I also realize that when I see the price point, I'm realizing that, and there's no resale, there's not, yeah, there's not really anything you can get. From Why would you even resell saying, for that? It's just pointless, it's, it's, pointless it's the same price as buying it brand new, this is it, or they, even they've, more. They've squeezed everything out, yeah. all the value's gone out of the team. It's because so, Dior kind of killed everything. Well, but them, people Dior, was, them Dior ones were crazy. I don't like them. You don't like them, what's no. not to like? I don't like them. 
I don't. <laughs> you think they're too basic? I think they're so basic. Yeah, they are basic. Oh, they look but like, simple, bro, simple, they look bro. like I could buy them from China. You bro. could definitely buy Bro, I bought them. <laughs> I bought them from Elephant Castle 15 years ago. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. No, this but is what I'm but saying. The, but on the real though, I don't like them. No, nah, no, nah, I can get you from that perspective. But on the uh, real, uh, they're, uh, they're just very uh, clean and wearable. They're so basic. Yeah, they were just clean and wearable. They're, they are, I would buy them, yeah. but I don't like them. I, I, I would I wouldn't die for them. No, let me no, let me no. let me put it that way. It's not a trainer that I would I would I would I would literally be like, yeah, I need the Dior's in my life. I need no, them. No, like, no I need them like no I I'm, I like obscure trainers like do you know what trainers I like right now? Right. And I've been I've been I'm so pissed I missed the drop. The the jar tips Sakoni. Sakoni. Sakoni is I'm out of the way once Sakoni. Those man. if you go on Instagram, just find them. Jar they tip. are yeah, jar tips. J A E T I P S. He's a Brooklyn designer. He does oh, like okay. trainers and stuff. He does okay. like hats and fits from no, it's on the Bronx. Okay. And yeah, his it's his first um, shoe. And yes. Yeah, so Coney have been quietly doing their thing. Bro, yeah, very, very they, cool. but they, I, I like running in it. So yeah. their running shoes are A1. Oh, really? Yeah, the Endorphin really? Speeds, Endorphin Pros are very good running no, shoes. I respect that. I've respect got, that. and I like Asics. No, but yeah, they, we, we, we reviewed Asics. the Asics um, Awake collaboration. And funny enough, Awaken um, Jordan um, Air Jordan Air, Air no Air Ships are doing a collab. Really? Yeah, Awaken and Nike are doing a collaboration. The recent Air Ships. And watch how everyone's gonna be. Oh, 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 I know about Awake, you know. I've been wearing Awakes. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. The recent Air Ships, the, the Nigel Sylvester Air Ships that dropped, man. Were oh, the beautiful. one with the bike. Or uh, something on the back. What does it say on the back? No, they were the uh, the blue one. Yeah, the, and, they, they and were, the red. Oh they, yeah, yeah, blue, blue and red. Yeah. Oh, they were so nice. Do you reckon? Oh, they were very. Good. I don't know about airships. You they know, they were very good, bro. I have a, the thing is, they give me a little bit of blazer vibes. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 with a I, I, I did, I did blazers once, and I just. Oh, bro. They're like blazers the, are hit can, and miss. can can everyone confirm in the comments? Blazers are one of the hardest shoes to put on. Bro, they're hit and miss, bro. They're, they're very hit. Do you know it's because tiny temper. I remember, do you remember Tiny Tempad the Disturbing London Blazer? Really? I didn't he, know that. He went SFX, by the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he went. He went. I'm in the year after. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He went SFX, by the way. And, oh, um, man, the Blazers were Yeah, he, he had a, a, a Disturbing London Blazer, and I wanted him. And how you did it, there was like an app that you had to run around and um, find him. Uh, yeah, 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 you had to find him. And, I, and that's the only time I really wanted Blazers. Not because it's him. But I liked. I had. A, I had. I bought some blazers from Offspring in Carnaby Street. Oh, I kept going to that Offspring, and um, not Carnaby Street. Offspring in um, Camden. Camden. That's the one I used to go to. Um, I was even. This one in Selfridges is new to me. But um, yeah, I, I wanted. The, I had the black. I had the black um, blazers and and the white that swoosh. And yeah, blazers are so hard. To, they're yeah, so they're difficult to put on. They're hard to. They're hard to. They're so they're, difficult. And the funny thing is, and they're not comfortable. 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 They're, not comfortable. So they're all kind of floppy, and they're not comfortable as well. That, I had like about two or three. They're pairs not of comfortable. That, that I think. Yeah, I did they, They're, they're one of two trainers that I've ever bought. The second trainer that I bought that I've that are really not comfortable are my um, Calm de Gaston um, Converses. Yeah. I had yeah. to go a size I've up. Got a, yeah, no, I've got them yeah. as well. Because they're, they're, like yeah. they're like a legit. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I love them. Yeah, they after a while, because it's a Chuck 70, right? Yeah. After a while, they but start they to burn your foot. Yeah, they start to burn. They burn your foot. I've got wide feet, so they don't work they for me. Yeah. There's only so much you can do to a Converse to make it comfortable. like Because apparently it's got a Zoom unit or something in it. Is right? it? Yeah, apparently it's got like extra cushioning in the midsole, right? Specifically the Chuck 70. Like, because there's the original Chucks, right? But the Chuck 70 has a has a unit in there. Because I used to wear Converse's in secondary school. No, those Remember when Converse's, they used to put the flat? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those Converse's the all black are, ones. Not, <laughs> those yeah. Converse's are material. Bro, we used to play football, we was playing yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, everything in them. Yeah, everything. Them, them in Converse's them. are just material. The Chuck 70, so the, um, the Commodore Garçons, they actually have some type of unit in there. Is it? For comfort. Hey, first to know. I didn't yeah. know that, you know. You've got it in there, right? Oh, is so it? So you could probably wear them slightly longer than you could wear a regular Chuck 70. Uh, sorry, a regular Chuck Taylor. But still, after a while, you're going to bug. Yeah, because they're, they're not comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember I wore them one time to a Whiskey comfort, um, concert. Oh, and never and to my a foot concert, bro. Bun me. Never to a concert, jumping up and bun down. Bun me. Nah, nah, nah. Bun me. Nah, you need to be, bun me. You count your steps. The day yeah, you wear... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't, <laughs> you count your steps. And then I, I re-bought them again. I bought them. I remember I went to... Uh, I 
keep going spending my money offspring offspring you don't need to sponsor me by now so like fam i went oh, to i went to offspring in selfridges and i bought them again and i went i wanted the to black ones the black ones i like the black ones and i wanted to i went to buy I wanted the grey ones and the blue ones. They were nice. They're nice. They were but nice. They, they keep getting sold out every time I try to buy yeah, them. So. Nice. But the good thing about Com the Gosson, um, Com I love Com the Gosson. Because they keep on coming back. Yeah, Kanye West is the reason he got me onto Com the Gosson. Yeah? Yeah, he, I think he was the first person I saw it because he had the, the, heart. the love heart and the eyes. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, if you remember the one, what's the one the album where he's just yeah. after his mum died? Yeah. In the night, that one, yeah. That was that yeah, one. yeah. Um, and he had it on the cover. Yeah, Heartless, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it, man. There you go. So. Yeah, I yeah and yeah man so if come to Boston, they've had some good collaboration they did a um, um a dunk that i wanted to get really yeah they, they're coming out with come the ghost on tns bro they've got a 97 bro that's everyone loves yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't no, it's not a 97, it's not so nice it's a it's yes, yeah, that was gonna say it's nice. It's a ninety-five. It's a yeah, yeah, ninety-five. Yeah, yeah, I missed out on them. Yeah, I missed out on them. I missed out on them. I wanted to. I, I think I missed out on. Them. It was a rough one. Them. I think I missed out on them. Yeah. But yeah, calm the guy. Big up, calm the guy. Storm man. Yeah, you don't need to do also sponsor me. Yeah, well. yeah, <laughs> I need some free Give stuff. Chance, <laughs> I, need, I need. I need. I need. I. I don't want to. I just. I don't mind the free stuff. I'll make the money myself. I, I'm fine. Just give me the stuff for free. Give me the I stuff. don't want to have to pay for it. Give me the stuff. Give me stuff. I I don't want to have to pay for it. But yeah, um, I'm going to end off with a light note. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. Cop, rock or drop, yeah? Okay. We did this with our guests before. So I'm going to ask you, would you cop something? Cop means you buy it. Um, um, rock means you rock it, you buy it, and you rock it straight away. Drop means you get dead. Uh, yeah? yeah so I'll you. give you, I'll give you um, three trainers, yeah? So the first trainer is um, Jordan Four Breads. Cop, rock or drop? Jordan for breads. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a that's a that's a cop. Yeah. Hundred percent. That's a cop. Why? I mean, the bread colorway is just like iconic. Like it just fit. Everything fit. Like I'd say the bread colorway is probably like in terms of colorway is like my top three. Like the only one above that is the Chicago colorway for me. Like because that little bit of white just makes it a little bit extra. With yeah. The Chicago connection, but um, the bread colorway is fire. I'm not really. Did you go for the Jordan Freeze? Um, Reimagined. So, um, one second. No problem. Yeah, sir. Yeah. So, the Reimagined, the white cements. Yeah. Yeah. So I did go for them. Yeah. I got spun in it because they were saying that there were going to be a lot of pairs. Right, uh, no. and I, and, I, and I got mugged off again. Obviously, I. I and as well, people don't know this, but I, I, I say they don't know because I say it every week, yeah. I'm literally shadow banned on sneakers, yeah, so they don't... I'm, they don't sh- I'm shadow banned, we're on the same... They don't rate yeah, me. They don't rate me on ever, I think the only person that's not shadow banned... I'm not even going to say the only person that's not shadow banned because I don't want him to be shadow banned, but there's only one person on our team that's not shadow banned. Yeah. But Bro. trust me... I tell you, ninety percent of us. My name is like, where's the floor? Yeah, it's, I'm we're, the we're, dark we're, one. We're shadow band. That is me, bro. When it comes to sneakers, bro, I ain't getting no love. So obviously, I tried it. I went bare raffles. I couldn't get it. And now I'm probably gonna dip into resale. The reason being is because sometimes when it comes to kicks, yeah, like sometimes there's a little bit of a hype initially, like where you're like, you know, what, let me just get this shoe and the size is I really like it after. Right? Mm. But with me, right, what I will do is I will agonise over it and I will think about it and I will say, you know what, like, let me start drawing some fit together in my mind. Let me start connecting those dots and let me understand how I would rock the shoe. And the white cement, reimagined specifically, is a fire shoe. Yeah, It's an absolute fire shoe, yeah, right. So, So, yeah, with the breads, yeah, yeah, that's a cop. So, cop, cop. okay. That's a cop. So, second trainer is the Nocta (laughs) Terra. <laughs> yeah, bro. What's lower than jo- <laughs> what's lower than that, bro? Like I'm saying, like incinerate, Cop, rock or drop. like stab up. Remember, <laughs> remember, shoot, shoot on sight. Remember, remember when Nike got in trouble for the air stabs? Oh no! I just, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> they lost it in the and they were like, "Sorry, <laughs> bro." Like, I swear, it was a did, they, did they do it during Ramadan? 
I swear they lost them during Ramadan. <laughs> I was like, I swear, I swear they well. done it during Ramadan. I swear, I swear, you joke, man. I swear, I swear if I'm wrong, someone please. Yeah, yeah for real. I, I swear, don't know that I swear those bacons hilarious. come out during Ramadan. Oh, I swear down, bro. Right, if you're like, Muslim and you're wearing those bacons, yeah, you're haram still. No, bro, that's haram, bro. You're buki, you're buki. We're lying, we're lying, we're lying. That's haram, bro, G. You're still. I know there's Muslim sneakers out there. If you're in the nighty bacons, you're buki, guys, still. But yeah, uh, yeah, I remember the air stabs. There was proper like they. I remember we all got into the news. I think there was like, oh, Nike's releasing the air stabs. They know there's the knife crime and blah blah blah. Right. But yeah, let's not deflect the 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 drop. Yeah, I don't know what's so, lower than drop bro. Oh, but that's damn. Ah, terrorist oh, damn. That's yeah, mad. Shout out to Juicy man. But that is mad. Better than that, bro. Oh, damn. That's mad. And then the last one is the Yeezy fifties. Easy 350 will be a rock every day of my life, bro. Like, it will never not be in my collection. A Easy yeah. 350. Whether it's a V1 or V2, legitimately in the top three of most comfortable shoes ever created. I've life. been saying this. In life. I've bro. been. They're not more comfortable than ASICs, though. Well, this is it. The thing is, if you're trying to get into performance, yeah. it might be a different yeah. thing. Yeah. When you're talking athleisure, yeah. you're talking like that, Just day to day walk around. Like, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. 100%. That just like, walk yeah, around yeah. kind of speed, yeah. bro. Yeah. Nobody can talk to me about 150, bro. Yeah. It touched a lot of bases yeah. and it opened a lot of doors. Yeah, Let because me, they like, use the same NMD foam. The, yeah, the, the, song, boost yeah energy, the boost bro. energy, yeah. yeah the boost energy, yeah. Remember NMDs? Oh, I do. I remember, remember I went NMD. to Adidas NMD party. The, those trainers were trash. You don't like NMDs? I hate NMDs. Bro, so when the, I hate the culture around it, I hate the people that <laughs> wore them. You went to that party. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> when I went to the party. Uh, it was like bro, this shoe is rubbish because I hate rubbish. you. <laughs> rubbish shoe. No, rubbish the NMD was hard. I, I did a video. I need to find it. I think. I was I went there some um oh, who was the artist A two he was performing oh okay. okay yeah he was performing at the party and um yeah that that shoe's dead yeah no nah, the shoe's hard N M D S the shoe's hard but the thing is it fell off you like them oh it completely fell off the originals oh. the originals with the with the red and the blue on the sole Let, and the white bro those are let's legit keep it those a buck. super hard let's keep it that's a buck. super hard. People bro. wore them because Kanye wore them. Nah, bro. They're Let's hard, keep it bro. real. And plus, they're super comfortable. Don't, do you not realise, yeah, that Adidas basically made the same shoe like three or four times, bro? bro. Like, they always do, to be fair. They're they made the same off. shoe. The NMDs, the Ultra Boost, bro, yeah. and like all the Yeezys, they all use the same technology. They all use the same um, yes. prime net. They all use the same stuff, bro. It's just done in slightly different ways, man. The and NMDs, I agree. The and bro, I agree. Look, Pharrell's NMDs, bro. You can't deny those. Bro, they're dead. Bro, okay. <laughs> I, I don't like them. I I, I, I I don't. For real? Bro. But the thing is, no, they no, no, fell no, off, no. The they only ones off. that I liked, okay, there's only one pair of NMDs, the throw NMDs I liked. I think it was the, with the, the human race one. Yeah, the human race yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, the human race. They're all those. right. Yeah, you can't deny I, those. I, 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 they look funny to me, bro. The truth is, yeah, right, they had a moment and they fell off. They right. fell off quick. They had a moment and they fell off. They didn't have more than six you, months. You, nah, yo, yo, yo. No, bro, no, look at... They, they was on the sale rack. Right. His sneakers that. and stuff. They had more than that. No, but the man. other one, that, The other one that people don't give a lot of love to is the Ultra Boost. The Ultra Boost was Ultra Boost. fire. Ultra Dead. Boost is fire. Like, I will always roll, ride out for the Ultra Boost, bro. Dead. Because those are the... Seriously, I've heard some of the most comfortable shoes I've heard. You've ever People used have in told life. me, I've heard. I bro, don't rate the them. way that Adidas fell off with the Ultra Boost, though, is right now we're on Ultra Boost 24, bro. Too many iterations. The original one was the best one. The Ultra Boost now, I see I them as running. Let me know Do you know Ultra Boost, the new Ultra Boost? The only ones that I like, the new ones. Because like, so the for new running, ones, the ones but they're only for running. Did, but the ones that he just did were actually good, bro. Yeah. It's the 23 before that, right? Apart from the first one, hmm. that didn't need to happen, bro. Boy, I don't, I don't know, it's man. Be, but I, they had collabs, bro. They had big collabs. They had different collabs. Every time I see bro. Ultra Boost, I just think of high ankles, <laughs> no <laughs> socks, <laughs> long t-shirt. Oh, my days, bro. Yeah. Cardigans, long off. So, you're talking about um, Shoreditch. <laughs> you're talking about Shoreditch. You're talking about Shoreditch. Beckenham, <laughs> Bromley. <laughs> I'm seeing it all, bro. No, nah, man. Like, they had a moment, bro. They had a moment. Like, I me, I, I, like, I like, like Japanese Ultra leisure wear. I like, I, I wear a lot no, of but Uniqlo. But that's in there, though. Yeah. That's I, 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 I used to work at Uniqlo. Yeah, I, I love, you used to work there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, outside. What are you saying? You got, you got the connects, though? Nah, bro. Ah! Oh, years ago. 
<laughs> on music man, as well. Hey, I'm trying to do. Bro, I'm trying to do a, bro, that that to do a collab be, with them. You know, bro, that'd be so epic. Bro. I really want to do a collab like, with them. Uniqlo are so amazing. I, bro. I still, really want to collaborate with Uniqlo. Like, bro, there so, are some clothes be a dream that I had from when I was working there yeah. that were still I was still using up until a few years bro, ago. Bro, Uniqlo. Like, I was working with them in college, bro. Comfort. I had clothes with them. A few years ago, I just got rid of them. Mm-mm. Like, they lasted that long. Yeah. And the quality, quality of their clothing was Japanese fantastic. quality is serious, bro. Japanese, Japanese clothing so, is so, so serious. So, yeah, I'll always shout out Yeah, Uniqlo. Uniqlo, yeah, man, that's my go-to. I like Jap- I like Nisha, I like Japanese. I like mm. I like to be free, man. I want to. I like that. I don't. I don't. Be, uh, me, I, I only wore jeans. I'm not a jeans guy. I do mm. like jeans, but I'm not really. I'm a combat guy. I like. Mm, mm, I like. Mm, I want. Mm. I want. I want to breathe. No, nah, I respect it. Cause, Cause I, I got big is, legs, bro. No, so <laughs> I struggle. <laughs> but, nah, for real, I, I literally, struggle. I told you where we yeah. started, bro. This whole co- your whole fit. So I have it. I have the whole yeah. thing. Bro. I could have been here. Yeah, we'd exactly have been like it, bro. Like, and it would have been nuts, bro. Like, do we? Do we? Do that? Yeah, no. Like, but no, the West African, innit? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I just keep it. I just keep it real. Real simple and keep it real nice, but sometimes I bust out the jeans, man. Because when I bust out the jeans, I then don't have to um, coordinate the kicks. I yeah. Can just throw anything on the shoes, right? And I wanted to rock the red today as well, so I was like, you know what, let me do it frequently. And the jeans just make it a little bit easier because they don't, whatever colour they are, you don't have to vibe with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like I like this whole look. I, 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 I do like the Air Max. The, I love these Air Max ones, man. Yeah, I'm an Air Max bubble. one guy, man. Big yeah, up the big yeah, yeah. bubble. Shout I, out I, I missed the drop on that, and I'm, I'm not sad I did. But it's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I do like them, but I have to. I'm on a budget, bro. Yeah, no, you, you have to when, you're, when, you're, oh, when you're when you're when you're in a sneaker game, you're in a relationship, family, I'm also whatever. A size Twelve. Bro, I've it? learned to be humble from early, bro. I appreciate it from my father. There's certain shoes I'm not gonna get. There's bro. no bro. There's certain, there's shoes, certain I'm not shoes gonna get. I'm bro. not. Gonna, I've come to the realization I can't get every shoe. No, bro. It has to be like. I, that, I've, I've, there's some. I, I, I missed out. You know. You know what shoe I missed out on? And and New Balance. It please. Axon Bronsons. You oh, done me dirty. Yeah. Bro, you man done me dirty. Bro, I've never lost a I've never lost a New Balance raffle ever. Are you this serious? Bro, first, I've never won one, bro. They, this their is their raffle first, system's terrible. Bro, it's the worst. That their raffles are I, 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 terrible. I, I, How I, do you do it? I've, I, bro, I've never lost. How many computers you use? One. I use I do it on my phone. Oh, bro. bro, I've never lost a new balance. Every time I get to the end of the queue, everything's sold. I've never, I've never done it one time. These I didn't lose out on them. I don't lose on their raffles. If it's on, if it's on end, if it's on sneakers and stuff, yeah, whatever. But if I'm going directly to New Balance or going directly to the person doing the collab, mm. like the Salehi Bembrys, I've oh, got yeah. them. I didn't lose out on them. These Joy Fresh Goods, I think he released them on his. How did I get them? No, I got these on um, end. They were still in stock because I missed it on the thing. But, bro, just get the Action Bronsons. I was so angry. I was in the queue. I was I was there at night. No, na- yeah, 8.45. It I waited. Matter. It don't matter. They're, they're I was meant to go to work that time. Bro, it was in the queue. And then all I saw was sold out. I sold said, out. what? I was there, bro. I was there. This is sold out. And I was like, bro. And you know what pissed me off? They were meant to come out on my birthday, you know? Really? Yeah, they were meant to come out a month before. And then it got delayed. I had the money, everything. I said, oh, oh I told my missus, I said, it's just not meant to be, innit? Like, they sold that. Like, I'm just, like, I'm just, and then I went, I went to go and kick game to buy them, bro. They're telling, man, five, six bills. Kick game. <laughs> five bills. Kick game. Shout out kick game, man. Shout out kick game, but them prices are, are mad, though, bro. Mad, man. That man are taxing, bro. They're, they're, hey, man taxing. Taxing. But it's okay. That's part of the game. We have to, uh, we have to, I'm but saying, we have to Other than them and Cop It, they're the only people that are probably all... Um, my Co- boy collection Jack. club as well. Shout out to them, man, as well. Uh, where's that? Is that the guy? Um, yeah, in that's uh, Blue Water. I've never been there, you know. I, you man need to. Oh no, yeah. we could make that happen. Down. You could make that happen. You need to bring me down. A lot of content for them, so yeah, we could definitely make that. Happen. I'm, I'm trying to come down and film yeah. whenever you like. I want to come down. I want to see the store and yeah. it's, it's that far, not far from my brother's yard. Nah, so. it's not too far at all. Yeah, man. yeah, we could make. We could definitely make that happen. But yeah, man, bro, thank you so much. It was a blessing. Absolute this is pleasure. this is one of my favorite ones I've done. I think you, you and say TJ. That time, no, 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 no. Seriously, <laughs> I, I, genuinely, I don't do a conversation with trainers. I normally do the reviews. So if I'm doing it, it means I I want to do it and I'm interested that, in doing it. So yeah, this and Love Kit customers definitely and and Double Up podcast. This is, yeah, for this year, that's my this has been my like, one of enjoyable ones. I've really. Podcast. 
really enjoyed this one but yeah man thank you so much for the Always, knowledge bro. thanks for letting us know so yeah keep uh, follow bro on um, Instagram make sure you watch his stuff make sure you listen to the podcast please listen follow Re- Kicks Protocols it don't yeah. cost Kicks you Protocols. to repost it don't cost you to listen just listen it's to it me, he's had some really good guests Thanks. we're gonna be on there don't worry we'll be on there Def- that, that's having another follow I'm not even together bro. I want them separately bro yeah, there's yeah, more of yeah, them yeah, there's more of you know us we're all there, gonna bro. come we're all gonna be there <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna we're all gonna jump on it, and yeah, make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. Make sure you follow us on all social platforms, and yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace, peace, guys. <laughs>